The murder trial of 28-year-old David Godwin continues into its second day. Good afternoon. I'm Ken Watley. And I'm Shayla Reeves. Thank you for joining us. Godwin is charged with murder and facing the death penalty if convicted. He's accused of murdering Wendy Temain. Authorities discovered her body on July 5, 2016. She was found cut into pieces and stuffed into trash bags inside her apartment. Godwin's trial is happening at the Carteret County Courthouse in Beaufort. That's where we find nine on your side's Camila Barco. She joins us live with the latest. Camila. Shayla, Ken, David Godwin has still to make eye contact with anyone since his trial has started. He is listening to the details of the crime he is accused of committing, and the family is learning more about the hours leading up to Wendy's death. Now, Joseph Mann, who also goes by the name of Zeke, was the second person called to the stand this morning after, Evans, after Detective Evans finished his testimony from yesterday. Zeke, who knew Wendy for about a year before her death, had been messaging her hours before she died and was considered a suspect at the time. During his testimony, he recalled a text message from Wendy saying, quote, If David comes upstairs, I am going to beat his fingers. Zeke stated he did not know Godwin too well, but considered him a little bit off. However, nothing about Godwin had set an alarm off in his mind. Allison Godby, a bartender at George's Bar and Grill in Moorhead City, and Mike Shaheen, the general manager at the time, were also called to testify. George's Bar and Grill was the last place Wendy was seen alive. Godby recalls seeing Godwin and Wendy at the bar and describes Godwin as, quote, odd but nothing extreme. The SBI agent Ransom James Jr. was last to take the stand before lunch. He says officials, uh, officials considered John Gregory, Wendy's husband at the time, Zeke and David Godwin as suspects. Now, we're still learning, working to find out the nature between Godwin and Wendy and how they came to know each other. According to Godwin's defense attorney, they were just friends. At the time of their murder, Wendy was going through a divorce. She was a mother of one son who was in California at the time this occurred. So far, no motive has been mentioned. Coming up at 6, more details about the hours leading up to Wendy's death and the murder weapon. For now, live at Carter County Courthouse, Camila Barco, 9 on your side. Thank you.